Israel's war cabinet wrapped its fifth meeting today as officials continue to weigh how to respond to Iran's historic attack. World leaders are worried Israel's response could further escalate tensions in the Middle East. For now, Western allies are hoping new economic sanctions against Iran will help limit potential retaliation. CBS News foreign correspondent MTS Tayeb is covering all of this for us from Tel Aviv. MTS, great to see you. Talk to us about what these new economic sanctions against Iran are and how Israel has responded to that move so far. Errol, good to be with you. Well, David Cameron, who is the UK's foreign secretary and who, of course, was its former prime minister, is here talking about that very issue, uh, looking at sanctions on Iran in concert with the European Union. Now, what those sanctions look like, they've said that it would target directly Iran's drone manufacturing sector and its missile manufacturing sector, which, of course, if you, given what we saw over the weekend with Iran targeting Israel with drones and uh, crews and ballistic missiles, 300 in total, that that is what they've decided to target. Now, interestingly, though, the U.S. isn't likely to join a major sanctions package against Israel. And that is because there is concerns within the Biden administration that, that if the U.S., imposes even more punishing sanctions on Iran than it, more than it already does, that it would affect Iran's ability to export oil, and that would affect China, which is their largest consumer of oil, making that relationship even more complicated. So you really are considering how the geopolitics of this is all unfolding, even though we're looking at Israel and what Israel will or will not do to respond to Iran's unprecedented strike and how Western powers are trying to figure out a way to say to Israel, look, we can punish Iran, try not to do anything that can inflame things further. Errol. It's a great example of how all of us can be impacted by what happens between these two nations. But, MTRs, there is a difference between rhetoric from both sides and what happens between them. Iran's president's warning, if Israel attacks Iran, it will be dealt with, dealt with uh, quote, fiercely and severely. Those are the words. How serious, though, is, is that specific threat? Well, the hope is that it is just a war of words and nothing more than that. Uh, we've been speaking to sources on the ground inside Iran, and the view on the street of Tehran is that Iran and its leadership does not want to see an escalation. But it felt like it needed to carry out the strike that it did on Saturday night into Sunday morning following Israel's unprecedented attack on its diplomatic compound in Syria two weeks ago, in which its diplomatic compound was bombed and killing several Revolutionary Guard senior commanders. That, in the view of Iran, was a target on their sovereign soil, and that's why they launched that attack that happened over the weekend. For them, they say the issue is concluded. But if Israel targets inside that country, they feel that they'll have to respond, and we're going to see some fear, a tit for tat, which is something nobody wants. Errol. Right about that. MTS Tayeb with the latest. Thank you very much.